Hello everyone and um, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be um, reviewing this C6D Pro Intelligent Balance Charger and Discharger from GT Power. We all run batteries in our trucks, our drift cars, crawlers, whatever. This is a new one that's just come out on the market with GT Power and it is supported with a Bluetooth app. So let's have a look at what's in the box. I have tried searching for a price, cannot find one, but it is a single um, output battery um, charger. I know you can get two four and even six and eight so that is the so it all feels very good we have dc input which is an xt60 that will be um, anything between 12 and 24 volts i believe the input between 11 and 26 volts or AC 24 24 what am I talking about it's a hundred to 240 volts that'll be all down to the built-in resistor circuits so let's get this plugged into the power See, it defaulted to um, lithium. Let me get another GT product to tilt that upwards so we can see what we are looking at. Um, it's showing us the QR codes, which I assume is going to take us to the website it is gtrc it's not taking us to apple i've got the wrong code that's the one and that's taking us to gtrc so what i shall do with this is start screen recording with media and mic sounds so whatever i say will be on here so i've scanned the qr code and it's brought me to the gt i shall go into download and i'm going to move that across there so i can put this up this side of the screen then I'm going to go to Charger. I'm just going to go to the GT Charger Pack. Just hold that download link and download. Just say download again because I did download it before. But for the purpose of this video, you can see exactly what I'm doing up there. Interesting, right? I'm going to go out and plug a battery in while that is downloading. I've had to make up an adapter lead from my chosen connector preference, which is EC3, and there is the charger um, all done up whilst using the app and allow. This top one is the thing. So now, because this is a um, nickel metal hydride battery, I go on this side and select nickel metal hydride, six cells, and I want to charge. 
and then click next what is my charge rate because this is a 3000 um, milliamp hour never charge more than three amps so I usually go around 60% um, of that so I'll just do two amp and uh, press start and that gives you all of the relevant information that is saying the battery level is 61% whilst it analyzes it I have already charged that back up and that's given us a 9 volt um, peak detection so uh, we can stop that and that also stops that and it automatically changes it to um, nickel metal hydride so let's take that off and stick on a Florian 5200 milliamp power battery plug in the balance lead like so I think what I'd do with this is I'd get a balance tra a balance tray so because this is a, a lipo I can go on to lipo go on to that you can see that that's um, showing up as a repair so you can repair battery cells so um, what I'll do is I'll do storage charge and I'll just 3.5 amp that's nearly 3.2 amp that's 2 amp less than the battery and then we shall start and we know storage charge and it's automatically changed this to 2s lipo and it's charging at 3.1 amp in there 7.6 volt and then these two um, batteries here tells you what each cell is so pretty um, pretty good uh, on this screen we can um, lipo cut off we can confirm that I'm not going to change any of these um, buzzer switch um, yeah it's got a lot of features and functions up here in this corner it shows you that um, we've got um, AC input I don't know anything about the program but that's uh, pretty pretty good storage charge battery level is 64% so even without the app if I move this across so you can see that and I'll leave the um, app just there so if I stop it obviously stops this app so I can select discharge store repair balance and just go into store 2 amp battery check please wait and then confirm and then that alters that so these two are connected it's very similar to the uh, sky rc um d100 v3 that i've got so yeah seems pretty straightforward um you do get the instruction book um but on the computer it does say that we have um tire warming facilities so i want a product list and go on to charger Come on. and then it's this one just here and this is the what we are looking at um 300 watt maximum power that's a lot of power output for just one channel um 
built-in tire warmer download app easy to set all functions which I completely agree with newly added battery repair mode newly added FB discharge function tire warmer and you can also run in uh, motors for that so what you get in the box is instructions um, power lead and the charger yeah all very good stuff um, I'm gonna leave that to store charge and uh, I'll use this actually to uh, charge a couple of myself for next weekend because I am going to an RC truck meet so uh, yeah very good so as I say, I'm a bit disappointed don't have a price on that but yeah all very good and let's see if that recording has actually saved Yes, it has seven minutes. So, well, uh, good stuff. I'm not going to waffle on. It's just a normal four button battery charger. And they are really simple to use. Let's stop that. We have battery mode uh, for that. Lead acid, DJ Phantom, cell meter. Let's have a look at cell meter. That tells us what voltage we've got in this. Um, lipo pack so stop that extended functions we can run motors in uh, tire warmers there look 100 watt that's probably why it's a 300 watt because you know we can really heat tires up to 60 degrees uh, pulse width modulation in pulse width modulation out we can save data for um, these packs the nickel metal hydride and the shorty packs um, and then we can load any save data that's in there they're all um, much the same programming is basically the same test lithium Double X, double X means it can be polymer and um, ferrite or um, lithium ion. So let's have a look. Measuring internal resistance. There we go. 0104. I have no idea what that means. Internal resistance, 5 microamps. lithium battery mode we can do lipo good stuff anyway i'm not going to bore you anymore with that um yeah i'll put a link to their uh, website in the description below and um we will see how these fare up thanks for watching